Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Roll Aid's Bench. My name is Robin, and I've enjoyed shooting, hunting, and techie stuff since I was little. I've been kind of a geek, so to speak, in school when I was uh, into the math and science and it was easy and a whiz, all the kids around me would say, hey, Roll Aids, I need relief on this question. And that was kind of where my nickname came from. It was a fun nickname and I enjoyed helping out people and uh, just digging into the techie slash maybe backwoods engineering sometimes. Do a little bit of that too. So today, I want to talk a little bit about um, night vision. Recently, I had an accident which has um, put me out of work from a brain injury standpoint and I'm in the middle of recovering and so I've kind of gotten back into air rifle stuff again. Getting into the PCP, I started with a little Marauder pistol which has been modded over and um, got some local farms around here that part of my recovery I can go and sit and plink at pigeons and starlings and even some night stuff or rats and starlings that nest up into the uh, cattle barns and so forth. Well I uh, started with kind of the simple setup and kept messing around wanting to go as, as low cost and easy for night vision. Um, again just getting into it I did the standard what everybody was recommending I got a put a green laser on the gun here I ended up modding a, a little weaver mount that could fit on the air tube and I can stick on a couple different flashlights both mag lights LED this little guy's awesome it's got all kinds of functions from um, very dimmable you turn it on and when you turn it if you hold you can twist and change dim bright um, there's flashing modes all kinds of stuff on that cool little flashlights I'd stick both of these on I'd go out at night and I just couldn't see that great. Um, one evening, very dark, um, no rats, but it was the starlings where were thousands, literally thousands in the rafters. And with these lights, 15 yards, they're silhouettes to me. And I can't tell the difference between a starling and a barn swallow, and I don't want to shoot a barn swallow. So part of the problem really goes back to, since I've been a little kid, I've been red, green, colorblind. And that being a little bit of an issue, I am on a journey to find out a good night vision setup that I can throw off and onto this gun. Um, a couple others I've got, and I've even got a Condor um, AAA Talon Tunes that Tony's working on should be here before too long, and I'm looking forward to maybe some even coyote hunting with that. Um, I have got right here in front of me all kinds of boxes from Amazon eBay, parts from Lowe's, PVC, rubber tubes, unique little, yeah, them things. It's a coupler. And in the next few days, weeks, I am going to put together three different systems starting with first night view the um, people that have already made a glasses goggles night vision setup that can mount and dismount on your current standard scope I can't hardly really see spending for starters I don't want old technology I'm too much of a geek and so Gen 1 and 2 is out um, I want to be able to throw it on a scope that's already ready and going that I already understand the reticle setup and everything uh, the Pulsar Digital look cool, but for $1,400, I think I can come up with something better than that. Something that I can pop onto any rifle and instantly make it into even a day nighttime device that we can record with. We can um, be able to have a better quality night vision and somewhat customizable. And what I'm hoping to do is make it easy so that whatever seems to work out the best or the first best couple options I can help you guys 
with parts lists and you name it and put this together yourself. And if you need some technical assistance, maybe Rollades can provide relief. Anyhow, that's the direction of the next few videos. Thanks for watching.